Alright, so that's everything set there, so we're gonna actually head off. Yeah. I don't remember where the other place I need to go exactly is. Trabia Garden. Yeah. It's on the northeastern land that I think you were on at the start of the year, the start of the video. I think I know what you mean. Yeah, the eastern continent. It's the northeastern portion of it. Which you should be able to... Yeah, you're actually near there right now. So I want to head um, over there? Um, then, yeah, I want to head... First of all, get back in the water with the ship and then get around the island so you can head north. So I want to head north, okay? Yeah, north to northeast, yeah. Should be able to... I assume there's going to be a place I can go around here somewhere. Yeah, you want to keep looking. There should be a beach somewhere I know you can get on to. Yeah, it's essentially what I'm looking for. Oh, wait, beach. oh there, it is. there it is. Nah, if I remember, Trabia Garden is kind of surrounded by mountains, so you have to look for like a wreckage of a place. Since it did obviously get... Well, I think that might be it, actually, right in that area there. You turn the camera. Yep. On. yep, that's it. Talk so, by the wreckage of that halo around it. <laughs> it also was just in like a small hidden area, so I assumed it was yep. the place. Selfie, obviously, gonna be concerned. This was our home, anyways, for yeah. a while. Direct hit? <laughs> yeah. For those who may not remember watching, when the base had its first set of missiles launched before they even got to the base, yeah, those are the ones for Trabia Garden. Yep, so, sadly. Thankfully, Selfie wasn't there. She was with us at the time, but... Yep. So pretty much there was nothing we could have done to stop the, those missiles from hitting. Sadly not. So if you obviously wanting to go in and take a look. Yep. I'm gonna follow her actually. Yep. Oh, I forgot to give Squall the strength up. So we'll uh, do that in a moment. Oh yeah. As soon as we can. Yep. Uh, dude, she's right over there. Can't you see her in the distance? No music playing. Alright, so, uh, items... Let's see here. Uh, yeah, two of them. What was that? Combat King? Oh, a magazine for fighters, okay. Yeah, it's for Zell, actually. Do oh, not... it gets another one of his moves for his limit break combo. Yeah, oh, you really? may want to use that, oh, too, okay. if possible. Oh, okay, yeah, you just have to read it, and then... Yeah, Meteor Strike, okay. Yeah, basically, when you activate Zell's limit break, that'll give you another move to throw in there when you hit the right moves in order. Ah, uh, fair enough. That'll be a choice on there now. Actually, it might be a new ending move. Yes, I know there's a draw point right there. I'll get to it in a moment. Yep. Just play along with it. Yeah, Squall's a bit of an ass. Uh, Selfie, can you at least play along here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't actually mean to talk to her again. I was trying to get to the draw point. There we go. Fundaga. Oh, you, yeah, definitely get that. It's 11 for Renault. 11 Fundagas, yeah, that'll help. You have a basketball court in the back. Wait for me there, okay? 
Yep, and that's where you go for the cutscene with the backstory. Oh, uh, yeah, I hate this fucking cutscene. Another draw point over here. Oh, it's a fucking graveyard. Zombie. Of course, zombie would be in the fucking graveyard. <laughs> Is this the right way, or am I going the wrong way? You might be going the wrong way. Yeah, I think I am. I've never, I've never actually seen the graveyard before. Yeah, I think you want to cut in the other direction. Yeah, it looks like it. Can I please get around you? Thank you. Yeah, you can. Yeah. And it's head left here. The draw point. Oh, another one. Oh, aura! Only got four, but... Yep. Yeah, that is the spell that will allow characters to access their limit breaks. Or... Oh, that sounds good. Yes. Yeah, definitely saving those for bosses. Yeah. Without having to have their hit points down lower, it'll increase their chances. In fact, I gotta do you remember what type of spell that one is. They possibly may be able to refine some items into it later. Now, don't I just talk to all these guys or something? Yeah, I think so. If it doesn't work, try leaving the scene then to trigger the basketball rolling in. And finally, Renoa. Okay, so yes, you try to. Yep, there we go. There, I, I just had to leave. Apparently, I didn't actually yeah. talk to them. I don't think we're going to be able to play a game of basketball on this court selfie. No. <laughs> I gotta wonder if she's saying this with that cutesy smile on her face. I want to get revenge with a big fucking <laughs> sinister <laughs> grin or something. Doesn't seem like something Selfie would really say, to be honest. Uh, no one wants to be a fucking pacifist all of a sudden. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I'm a pacifist, but for the most part. But uh, you've pretty much been fighting the entire army this entire time, Renoa. Right? Why get like this now? I did equip the thing with the um, pandemonium with the strength thing, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Okay. Yeah, I'm certain I did. <laughs> Squall, emotions, but I am robot. <laughs> By the way, people, once again, I hope the game audio is loud enough. Um, I'll check again after the session, see if it is. But... Yeah, I'm hearing it pretty well. Oh, you can actually hear the game? Yep. Oh. Again, it, just because it comes out well right now, doesn't mean, like, recording is going to be perfect, but we'll just take what we can get. This is the only problem when, like, recording live like this for something that's an emulator. I don't actually know if there's a way to record just the game audio and, like, record our commentary with, like, OBS or something instead. 
No, I've tried, I've looked, I don't think it's possible. I suppose I could have... Um, you know, I, I gotta say, I do actually own a physical copy of this game. I own the PSP version as well. But I don't really have it on anything I can record it on other than my PC, so... I don't really fancy paying an extra fucking £10 to buy this game again on PS4 uh, network. Oh, how's the snow been for you, by the way? Um... The last storm we got was on Monday, but that was before the really cold weather. So you haven't been, like, snowed in or anything like that? Oh, it hasn't? No, I said you haven't been snowed in or anything like that? No. I mean, Monday I think I was off, but... I think they, uh... Yeah, they did. They had the place closed, so... Oh, by the way, I hate this fucking part of this story. The whole, we all grew up in the same orphanage. I fucking detest it so much. Selfie kind of reminds me of fucking Yui from k -On, actually, in terms of personality. <laughs> Just all bright, bubbly, yeah. and has a strange amount of strength when she finds something she's interested in. Like, with Yui, it's food. With yeah. Selfie, it's just been happy, I suppose, but... Yeah, actually, you actually made that same comparison during the old FF8 race, too, as a matter Did of I? fact. Yeah. Dude, you fucking got a good memory, then, because that was, like, what, two years ago? Yeah. As so I heard that, oh yeah, I remember that reference. I I think about I we talked about this actually. I think probably near the beginning of the let's play. I can't stand this fucking backstory reveal. I think it's really fucking stupid. Like the only mention you really get of it before this point is if you go check out the logs at the beginning of the game. It tells you that GS can if cause memory loss if you use them. In, a, in the excess. Now, obviously, um, Squall, um, Zell, and Quistus obviously have been using yeah. them fairly regularly, as we've seen before the um, the beginning of the game. Selfie, I assume she's been using it as well at her own garden for a while. Uh, Renault obviously wasn't part of this whole backstory, so she doesn't count. Irvine is the only one that wasn't used to using uh, GS, which is why he retains yep. memories of these guys. Yeah, because that's basically the one negative of GFs is that they make it easier for people to forget stuff because the GFs kind of hit your brain, so to speak. Yeah, but as I said, Irvine only started using them as soon as he was brought back to the group at, right. when he was hired, essentially. Now, his chances are the other characters all went to the guards or went to like the lob. In particular, because they use the GF, they may have been using it for a few years now. So precisely. And in fact, Irvine will actually be elaborate about yeah, why yeah, they forget. Why yeah, he I mean, didn't. he brings. I mean, he tells you why he doesn't. He never mentioned anything. It still felt like a complete fucking cop out, though. Hmm. I. It's, this is just a story point. I really, really can't stand very much. And I actually think it's one of the biggest what the fucks in the game. And just how. I don't say this, the beach down there in that scene does look pretty nice. Oh, <laughs> the actual graphic for it is actually really good. It'd be one of those places I've ever actually had, I'd really be liking it right now. <laughs> Especially considering the location of that. It is, you know. It's... Yeah, it's in the fucking. It's almost like it's out in the middle of nowhere. I know. Uh... I mean, given which continent... I mean, it's actually on the eastern continent, but it's on, like, the... Like, the southern portion, like, the s southwest portion of it. Oh, one more... Or maybe not even on the continent itself, I think it's an island over there. 
uh, another plot point that isn't actually been brought up yet is uh, there was also another boy that was here. I don't mind spoiling it. Fucking Cypher was here as well. Yep. I don't blame them for forgetting him though. Yeah. <laughs> I think we all wish I... we could forget him. Yeah. Like, oh, remember Cypher? Oh, fuck that. 